Hi, I'm Mike, Chief Creative Officer of Greenroom, and today I want to talk to you about anti-digital, the case for human-centric design. So what's my beef? Well, in all honesty, I like simplicity. I live in Lichfield in Staffordshire. I like cats. I drive a Nissan. All very simple things, all things that make me very happy. However, I work for Greenroom, a design consultancy that creates amazing digital experiences for its customers to enhance their store visit. So we have a paradox, me liking simplicity, yet working for green room that on perception creates very complex experiences. So let's take things back to basics and understand what the real rules of retail are. Well, earlier in 2016, I attended a car boot sale with my girlfriend and we laid out a trestle table and we put some of our products on there. And the reactions that we got from our customers were of engagement, delight, satisfaction, all those things that retailers wish for, but in a very simplistic way. However, retail journeys are full of complexities. Retailers and brands are desperately trying to tell customers what they can provide them, rather than asking them simply, what would you like? So... When you think about brand propositions, a brand has multiple categories that they are trying to push to con consumers. But on top of that, they are also selling through multiple different channels now. So actually, that's really adding to complexity. It's adding to disruption and it, it's alienating customers from the brands and from what they really want from their brands. And when you start adding in-store digital media into the mix, that's when things can go awfully wrong. And instead of making the decision process easier, extra complexity is added. In a lot of respects, it feels like the last thing to be considered is the customer. But we need to consider not only their physical journey and their multi-channel path to purchase, but we also really need to consider their emotional journey as well. We map the highs and lows of the customer journey. We do this through observation, through digital tools, through data capture. Whatever we feel is most appropriate to get to truly understand how customers feel along their path to purchase. And then we look at how we can elevate the lows and celebrate the highs along that journey. Importantly, we think about all touch points. We think about furniture, communication, staff interaction, and digital touch points. It's just another one of those moments that the customer goes through. And we truly believe the key to understanding the role of digital in the physical retail journey is to understand the emotional needs of the customer each step of the way, then map a touch point strategy against these requirements. And if we do this, we make sure that we only use digital touch points where they provide the best solution for both the brand and the customer. So the role of digital at retail is a blend of both magic and logic. Magic for the customers in terms of creating great experiences that engage them and lead to them having a more connected experience with products and services. And then logic for the retailer. We know that e-commerce thinking is informing how retail is being analyzed now and that stores need to provide ROI that is aligned to other channels through making sure that our digital touch points provide both the emotional experiences for customers and the, the rational improvement in ROI for retailers. We can create a really compelling story that fulfills both their needs. Therefore, in summary, we think, firstly, consider the emotional needs of the customer, first and foremost. Secondly, only use digital when it's the best solution as part of an overall experience strategy that puts customers at the heart of that experience. And thirdly, ensure digital touch points have a clear benefit for the retailer. If you put these points into action, then you won't get too far from getting a digital strategy, which really suits both the needs of your customers and your retailers as well. Thank you for listening, and if you'd like to find out more, please get in touch with myself or any of my colleagues at Green Room, and we'll happily chat through our thinking.